What's up, family? It's your stepfather, Ron Effect, back with another video. All right, so today was um another voluntary OTA workout program, you know, I guess planned by uh, Pat Shermer. And, you know, a lot of people showed up. A lot of a lot of the players showed up, although being voluntary. Obviously, Eli was there, Davis Webb, Odell Beckham Jr. there again. So people can get it out of their heads. He's not going anywhere. Uh, Janoris Jenkins was there. People are still trying to fish for Hodell. He tweeted out something the other day, you know, oh, it's good to be home. And it was something that involved LSU. Oh, come to the Saints, bro. Come home. Like, yo, I thought y'all hated him. But they will once the season starts, you know, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Giants go up against the Saints. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, we all know how that goes. Um, somebody, there was somebody who wasn't there, you know, I guess he didn't catch my video or I guess it didn't phase him in the news when he was, you know, the center of a, of negative attention. Eric Flowers was another no show. So yeah, he's going to probably most likely be traded within the next 48 hours or 72 hours or whatever. Um, but like, again, is who's willing to take him. All right, let's get to the skinny of the video. So yeah. In the in one of the interviews, Olivier Vernon, you know, he's also joked around. Oh yeah, Eric's here. He's in the he's in the uh, he's in the building. He was joking, but um, yeah. Also in that interview, uh, he's moved to linebacker under James Betcher's new three four defense. I think they're going to be in both three four and four three. But under James Betcher's new defense, you know, he'll have Olivier Vernon at linebacker at outside linebacker. So. They're probably going to they want to transition him. You know, he's probably going to be playing different positions, but he'll be labeled. What I know is that when I've been, what I've searched is that he'll be labeled as a linebacker on the roster, outside linebacker. Probably like a, a transition, like a Khalil Mack made, Julius Peppers. So you know, a lot of guys who've like transitioned from linebacker to defensive end or vice versa. So I don't see it as a big problem. He said in his interview, Olivier Vernon said in his interview that you know he's stood up he stood up for you know the Miami Dolphins you know stood up being like standing up not in a three-point or four-point stance on the line so yeah I'm very interested to see how that's going to go um another thing bro I guess the Giants have a lot of defense alignment in store defense end in store because I already thought it was going to be a problem with you know Jason Pierre Paul being traded so we need somebody at left in and then you know with Josh Morrow with Josh Morrow being suspended for the first four games for you know the the supplements or whatever and, you know, so now with Olivier Vernon being placed at outside linebacker, like, he's still probably going to be on the line, but just, you know, that leaves a space there. And, you know, so they must have a lot in store, guys, in the practice squad, whoever they have, that is going to play that when it gets into a 3-4 situation, or they may, be just, may just have Olivier go back down to the line. Maybe they have, like, a bunch of linebackers. I don't know. Um, also, Romeo Okwara, he's also going to be joining the linebacker room. So I can't, really can't wait to see what they got in store for this defense. Like, you know, for preseason, like years ago, I never really got hyped for preseason. I say I'm hyped now, but I just want to see him on the field again, bro. Just that football feeling. Like the draft. You know, draft is what, less than, what, 48 hours away, 72 hours away, however long. And, you know, this Thursday is the draft, 8 p.m. And, you know, it's like, it's I'm like hyped, bro, just for a new season. Like, you know, the positive fans are also, like, adding to the hypeness, bro. Like, previous video I did, the 0-7 thing, man. There's a lot. Of, I don't know where you guys hearing this from. What are you guys watching? The media. I just call it the media hypnotizing, y'all, because people are really, you know, oh, you know, 0-7. Eh, you know, like, like you're thinking the season hasn't even started yet. Like, you're in the mindset of last year. Like, I put the, you guys read my comments down there that I pinned down there. Like, the Jacksonville Jaguars. 2016, they went 3-13. and What'd they do last year? AFC Championship, and they would have made the Super Bowl, but they called back, what, that Miles Jack uh, that was about to be a pick six, they blew the whistle dead, and then, you know, that could have ended the game, at, that that or fumble six, whatever it was going to be, as he was running to the end zone, they called it dead, and yeah, that could have sent them to the Super Bowl. So, you got to understand, every year is a fresh new season. Some people don't believe in predictions, all that, before the draft and all that, I get that too, but yeah, man, nothing's going to break the positive vibes and, you know, good good intentions that I see for the good visions that I see for the Giants in the future, bro. That's just crazy, especially as a fan of that team. You know, I can understand someone thinking, oh, this team, just their trash talk. I see from other fans, oh, the Giants going 0-16, 1-15. and Like, they say that shit and then never come back. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, you don't even believe that. Someone had a gun in your head and said, you know, you know what I'm saying? They said, oh, uh, let's have a bet. 
how many wins you think the Giants are going to get, you're definitely not going to say 0-16. You know damn well you're not going to say 0-16 or 1-15. You know, you don't even believe what you're what you're saying yourself, even as an opposing team fan. You know, I won't even say that about the Browns. Like I said that before, like I predicted the Browns were going to go 0-16 in like week 10 or week 11 or whatever when I saw the rest of their schedule, you know, and how they already were moving. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, what else I was going to say about Olivier Vernon? Oh, so he was also saying, you know, yeah, just no, it's no problem with him being standing up, you know, in linebacker position. You know, it's just all about learning the playbook. So, yeah, hopefully it won't be too confusing. Hopefully the guys love what Jane Betzer writes up and stuff. I know there's a lot of heat going to be sent. And also, too, like they people have been talking about, you know, his previous years, like these guys, you know, joining the team, like Janoris Olivier joining the team two years ago and then, you know, or just performing to performing well two years ago or with or even farther back with their previous teams than getting a good starting contract, good free agent contract. And then, you know, off of previous last year, they weren't performing their best, but also injuries played a part. And also, they still played somewhat good. Like, Janora Jenkins had at least two pick sixes. Um, like he was in and out. Like, I know he got injured in the Redskins Thanksgiving game. Um, also, there's, like, the whole suspension thing. Now, nah, that's all McAdoo, bro. Because how do you suspend three different players in the same season? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was Eli Apple, Janoris, and DRC all got. Like, I don't think it's just them. Maybe Eli Apple is acceptable. But, hey, I don't know whatever they did. But three different players, like, that's not Giants-like. You know what I'm saying? So, um... But that's all in the past. But, um, yeah, so Janoris, you know, in his interviews, he was talking about, you know, how he learned about himself. And But, yeah, it's going to be a new a new season. I guess the players going to handle themselves better. And just, you know, you just learn about yourself. You know, it's like an experience. You know, it's that NFL life. You know, how the media treats you and what you can do. Like, with the facility. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, like we don't know because we're not NFL players, but there's like certain way you have to, a certain way you have to be as an athlete. You know, it's not, it's not college. You know, it's not college anymore. You can't, you're not a boy. You're a grown man. You gotta make grown man decisions. So yeah, I just want to know what you guys think about that. I just thought I put that out there because people might not know, like you know, Olivier being switched. And um, yeah, I just wonder what the how the line is going to be and yeah, who's going to be on that field. You know what I'm saying? Like, what positions? Who's going to be here? Who's going to be there? Olivier is at linebacker, so is Olivier and somebody else going to be on the field at the same time? What formations they're coming out in? And just how it's going to look for preseason. So we're going to get a sneak peek at preseason. And also what stars or what, you know, out, uh, what do you call it? Breakout players are going to be. I know somebody's going to be discovered in preseason, bro. I know somebody's going to make a name for themselves. And I really hope, you know, oh, this guy was the future. Oh, he got his shot in preseason. They make a lot of noise in offseason. But, you know, oh, undrafted. Or, I, I, I love those types of stories. Especially it's for the Giants. Victor Cruz's story was a beautiful story. The Giants.com, Giants.com put out something where they had like a, it was like a March Madness bracket of who was the best, what, free agent signing. And then came down to Plexico and Victor, Victor Cruz. And yeah, obviously Victor Cruz won. But I won't say it like that. No disrespect to Plexico. But um, yeah. So I think that's about it, guys. Tomorrow I'm gonna have a video. Forgive me for how it sounds. It's like, uh, cause there's a lot that I want to say. I might even have like some notes, cause I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to forget anything. That's like the worst for me is where I have a video and I forget to add something. I'm not gonna say a lot of people. People are gonna be insulted by it, but it's gonna it might strike a few nerves. And also the questions and stuff that I ask is gonna reflect back to me. You know, it's like it's gonna be a two way street. You know, so just be prepared for it tomorrow. It's going to be the day before the draft. Going to have videos right during the draft, right after the Giants pick. Going to have to upload as soon as possible, you know. And I'm probably not going to live stream it because if I see some comment, <laughs> oh, if it goes south, God forbid. God forbid if it goes south or something like that and I see somebody's comment, I might, you know, I just don't want to. Because you know how people are, like, you know how people are. When something go bad for you immediately, as soon as, like, so when something happens for you immediately, people are ready to throw, you know, Throw salt on you, dirt up. They laugh at laughing at your pain. Rather, I I, I can't stand that. When some when some goes south for you, people laugh at your pain. But when some goes good for you, not as people get hype. You know, only your real ones get hype and clap with you. And you know what I'm saying. But if some goes negative for you, people ready to laugh at your pain. They like they love it. So yeah, I might not live stream. God forbid things go south. But you guys know what I want to happen, and I know what you guys want to happen too. And no, it's still. But yeah, just wait for tomorrow's video. I'm gonna explain. Wait for tomorrow's video. All right. So I think I'm going to leave it right here, right, right here. not make it too long. Thank you guys for watching. So, yeah, go check out some other videos. And I'm going to keep them coming, man. Keep them keep rolling. Keep this off season entertaining and, you know, as we make our way to the regular season. So, yeah, like, subscribe, share. Till next time, guys. Jersey. So I stay clean, man. You
ain't even playing the game and you talking like you skip Bayless. Criticize he who made it, calling it entertainment. Difference with you and Skip is you ain't the one getting payments. 